Hi, my name is Trevor Wicks, and with the help of my granddaughter Jasmine, we will show you a selection of hand tools that can be used for garden and yard maintenance. Having the proper tools will make the task much easier. This long-handled spade is for turning garden soil, digging holes, or moving heavy materials. The square spade is also used for digging and edging. A narrow spade is handy for making small holes for plants, and this trenching spade is for digging narrow trenches. A scoop shovel can be used for light materials, and smaller shovels are used for heavier materials. A snow shovel is easier to work with if it has a long handle. Forks are designed for specific functions. A digging fork is used for turning over soil and removing plants with minimal root damage. The pitchfork is for moving lighter materials, mulch, long grass, twigs, etc. And the rock fork will separate and move small stones. The hoe is primarily for weeding in rows or between plants. They should be kept clean and sharp. This is a standard garden hoe and a Dutch hoe. The grub hoe or matic is used for chopping big roots. A cultivator is used for loosening the soil and weeds. Now rakes come in many shapes and sizes. The standard garden rake is basically three functions. It loosens the top layer of soil, removes rocks and debris, and levels off the surface. A landscape rake is for leveling larger areas. And a wire or leaf rake is used to remove litter or leaves. Trimming plants and hedges can be done using hand shears or electric shears. Hand pruners are used for selective pruning, thinning and precise cutting. And long handled loppers are for thicker branches. A pruning saw, bow saw or chainsaw are used to cut branches off larger trees. A pole pruner is used for trimming branches that are out of normal reach. To be effective, all of these tools must be kept very sharp. Small hand tools include different types of trowels and hand cultivators. For cleaning up, you will need a whisk broom, a corn broom and a yard broom. An electric leaf blower is helpful for large areas. A wheelbarrow should be sturdy and well balanced, keeping the wheel lubricated and do not leave the wheelbarrow outside to fill up with rainwater. Ladders are often lead to safety issues. Always check out all the possible hazards and use caution when using any type of ladder. Make sure you position a ladder at the correct angle and set the feet of the ladder on a level compacted surface. For heavy yard work you may need a pickaxe for breaking hard ground regular axe or splitting mull for firewood. A steel bar is used for punching holes and levering. A sledgehammer drives in stakes and posts. And a post hole digger for fencing projects. There are many other tools that you may need. I will be posting more practical tips on my website at www.innovationbc.com Thank you for watching.